and welcome to episode four of Wild Weather Wonders, where each episode we take questions sent in from viewers like you and we answer them. So quite often we get sent pictures of crazy phenomenon happening in the sky and people are wondering what's going on. For example, just yesterday, my friend Sarah from Avon Park sent me this picture and asked what's going on. So today we're gonna devote this episode to what's happening in the sky. Okay, so first let's answer my friend Sarah's question and that is what is going on in this picture. So you can kind of see some of the stuff coming down from the clouds there and that is precipitation, but you notice it doesn't hit the ground. So we do have a name for this and it's called Virga. And basically it's when precipitation is coming from a cloud, but it evaporates before it can hit the ground. Okay, so these next images are common sights on a Florida summer afternoon. Um, if you look into the distance, you will probably see something like this. And this is basically a thunderstorm in the distance and it looks like an anvil, so we call this an anvil cloud, which is really just a cumulonimbus cloud. And cumulonimbus is really a cloud that has thunder and lightning. So it builds and builds and builds, and then that top layer starts to kind of fan out because it's touched the stratosphere. So that means that cloud's kind of grown as high as it's gonna grow. So speaking of thunderstorms, sometimes as a thunderstorm moves closer to your area, you might see clouds like this. And no, it's not alien ships entering our atmosphere to take over, it's a shelf cloud and shelf clouds are usually the precursor to a thunderstorm or the arrival of a thunderstorm. So you'll start to get some wind after you see these kind of clouds and then behind that, you'll start to get the rain. So it's kind of ushering in the thunderstorm. Though this next formation may seem like cute cotton balls floating in the sky or maybe bubble wrap that you'd like to pop, these are actually called mammothus clouds, and really they are found underneath the anvil of the thunderstorms, kind of like we saw earlier, which means they're a good indicator that there could be or has already been severe weather. So moving on from thunderstorms and the weird formations associated with them, this next set of images are pretty common. You might have seen it before. It's the halo that forms around the sun. And it's very simple. It's just the light reflecting off of the ice crystals and those very high up clouds. This last set of images are images that you may not have seen before because they're a little less common, but they are definitely out there once in a while. And they look like holes um, that have been punched in the clouds. And really that's what they're called, hole punch clouds or fall streaks. And really what's happening there is in the mid to high level clouds, you have a bunch of water droplets. And when a plane goes through those water droplets, it brings ice crystals with it and encourages all the other water droplets to freeze as well. And they start to expand and get heavy and then they start to fall, creating a hole left behind. Well, that concludes today's episode of Wild Weather Wonders. I really hope it encourages you to go outside every once in a while and really check out the sky and see what's up there. You could see some cool phenomenon like I've shown you today. And if you see something you're not quite sure about, take a picture, send it in, ask us what it is, and we'll be happy to answer it on another episode of Wild Weather Wonders. One cloud says to the other cloud, oh no, we don't have enough water to make a rainstorm. The other cloud says, don't worry, we'll make do.